All of the best that, that is about this city is in this building. This is the world famous Palmer House Hilton Lobby and there's nothing like it anywhere in the world. I mean, this is real magic here. Built when? Uh, 1924, ceiling was done by Louis Pierre Regal, a very famous French muralist from Lyon, France. 21 individual paintings, each depicting a Greek mythological subject. You have Venus up there, Apollo. Uh huh. Kind of wonderful stuff, huh? It's amazing. What a great place to meet someone for a swanky cocktail, too. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And people do. And sure. people do. And then? And the world famous Empire Room. Why is it famous? <laughs> anybody who is anybody from Broadway and Hollywood and radio, later television, I mean, from Al Jolson and Peggy Lee and Judy Garland and Frank Sinatra and Carol Channing and all of them. They all Before, played this room? They all played this room and up on the bandstand were the greatest orchestras in America's history. After you. Now, can you take me someplace really special in this place? You mean the basement? This is your tour, the basement? Very, very few people have seen what you're about to see. I hope it's worth it. Actually, it depends upon the house count. Okay. Well, this is not where we're supposed to end up. We're lost, but. See, well, the camera throws idea. Ken off. He's We're in the, the basement of the Palmer He's House in a bathroom that's not even functional. Thanks, Ken. <laughs> yeah. Walter Don't Jacobson gets a good tour. I'm going to kill him. Walter okay. Jacobson gets a good tour. We I get know, this. but... Are we looking for Hoffa? Is that the thing? <laughs> He's lost. He got lost twice. <laughs> And actually, it's not something that I see very often either. That's where I keep all my fans. Some people have a Facebook page. I just keep my fans in there. My family. There's only 26 Grand Palace hotels that remain in the country today, and this is probably the finest. You're not going to see hotels like this ever again. And Ken Price joins us now, along with Mark DiCarlo. Did you guys make it out of the vault? We made it to the vault to eventually. That's where we were going, right? That was the intention, and I think the intention was to leave Mark in the vault. <laughs> How come you didn't? You would have made my life. We, we, we tried. We truly tried. But first of all, thank you, Val and Ryan, for having me on. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for, for letting me be here. We're really excited about our History is Hot tours because we've learned that history is cool, and it's fun, and uh, we've been very, very successful with this. Many Chicagoans, many out-of-towners out of are going on our History is Hot tours, and they're sharing with us a lot of their experiences about this incredible hotel that started, as you said, Val, 1871. And what? you've been there how long? At the uh, about, I started on Thursday. <laughs> 29 <laughs> years, 29 years ago. What kind of treasures? You brought some there, but what kind of treasures can you find in this hotel? Many. Uh, of course, uh, you know, no question, Bertha Honoré Palmer, who was the wife of Potter Palmer, was a remarkable woman. She contributed French Impressionism uh, to the Western world, which is now all at our Art Institute. We have the largest collection of French Impressionism outside of Paris. But uh, her sister married President Grant's son. Uh, Brigadier General Frederick Dent Grant and uh, the president took a round-the-world trip after the Civil War and the Palmers along with General Sheridan and General Sherman decided to throw this fabulous banquet in the hotel in 1879. It was called the greatest banquet in history and so that you know Mr. DiCarlo mm -hmm. the master of ceremonies was Mark Twain ah, and this is reputed to be uh, Mark Twain's famous beer stein and no way. Uh, uh, yeah um, and it, no you can't touch it get your fingers <laughs> out of it it's actually this is of course you can it's one of the <laughs> things that's kept in our vault it's uh, sterling silver over solid copper it's it's a, a big, big deal. A, a lot of drink. A yeah. lot of drinking. Out of everything that's in the vault, Ken, what is your favorite piece of history? Uh, it's hard to say. Well, first of all, this china uh, is French Havilon china. It's clearly priceless. Um, she purchased it uh, on one of her trips back and forth to France, acquiring the French Impressionistic collection. Um, and it's valued about $7,000 for one place setting. Wow. Now that was 15 years ago we had that wow. done, but now with the advent and the, the value of gold, it's probably worth much, much more. One place setting is 18 pieces. 
Mm. So you're looking at bone china, real gold, and crystal. Um, and these are the only pieces that we brought. So we're the very proud. The vault is filled um, with that stuff. You, so right. you guys really did go in there and look at it the It took vault. us a while because Ken got lost twice. But I we eventually did. got there. I did not. I did not. <laughs> but we really tried to lock them in there. Unfortunately, we couldn't do that. And that would have been great. We turned the microwave on high and he would have come back <laughs> right. later. And he would have been else. What's this behind us? Uh, this is the one of the original uh, posters that was in the railroad community that 300 miles around the city of Chicago. This is one of a kinder and it's it's of the hotel and the thing about that's unique for us is you know these were visionary people Val and Ryan uh, you know Potter Palmer was the person who came up with the first vertical steam railroad which was the, the prototype of the elevator. Mm -hmm. He came up with the idea of using Edison's invention of a light bulb. You have to understand, fires were everywhere. And it was Potter Palmer who literally decided, this is a brilliant invention, we should be using it. And um, most importantly, probably, he was the per first person to come up with the world's first totally fireproof building. If you know anything about Chicago's history, uh, prior to the fire, fires were all the time. But the great Chicago fire leveled this city. So we're proud that we came back from the ashes. Right. Wow. So